Hello Hylians. So some of you might already know the material duplication glitch for 1.1.2. However, there's been an, I guess it's an updated version to make it easier. So you don't have to go to a specific location for it to work. You could basically now do this at, um, at any chasm. So if I were to duplicate these large zonite charges, they're going to float in the air. And then after I get a specific height, they're going to just wind up dropping. And there you go. And then you, those are all duplicated. So now you don't have to go to that specific location. The way the way this glitch works, let me show you real quick. All right, so this is going to play my old video of me doing the glitch, just so you kind of have an idea of how it works. So you're shooting between the depths and the surface. And when the material passes that line, it'll freeze in the air. And then when you get close to it or a specific height, those materials will just drop. So what I'm doing instead, I'm going to any chasm. We're going to hang out right in the middle and we're going to shoot it. And then I'm using this. Let's go back. We're going to create this little cup thing to make sure that it catches all the materials that are dropping. So let's quickly talk about how to do this. Okay, you can do this at any chasm, but we're going to do it to one right here, the Hyrule Field Chasm, because by now everybody has access to it. Uh, I'm going to this shrine, and you need to build something with wood. So I'm going to go to this location from here. Uh, you do need a stake, a uh, Zonai stake. If you don't have one, you can go here. There's a stake here. Create an auto build, and then you can use an, the auto build to go get it. But you do need auto build. Um, and having Zonai floating platform thing. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever they're called. That would help too. And some rockets on shields can also help support so you need to create some kind of the v shape kind of shape so i'm doing it with this uh this will work fine but truthfully i'm gonna kind of do it a little different just to make a bigger all right you'll see what i'm talking about so we're gonna do like this so now i have a big letter v okay um then i'm gonna create an auto build i'll build another one we're gonna attach it to it now, having two of these is probably enough. I'm going to do a third one. It just helps the chances. I don't know what I'm doing. It helps the chances of the pieces that are falling more likely to not fall into the chasm. So I'm going to do this. Good. Then we need to create a little... Oh, actually, let's put the stake. Who doesn't like steak? I only have one more. Oh, no. All right, we're going to put a stake at the very end. And then we need a platform. Um, the platform is how big the, this little platform is not necessarily important, but the bigger it is, the easier it is you don't fall down the depths. And then we're going to create a little, we're probably going to turn this like this. And there you have it. You have this little bird thing. Again, it'll help if you have some rocket shields. So it's not going to help. It is. This is backup. So I'm going to have some rocket shields. All right. We have the auto build. We're going to now go into the chasm. So the rocket shield is in case you fall, you can use, you can shoot a, what is this called? How many tell me? Well, nobody tell me. I'm talking to myself. So, um, the hover stone, because if you shoot them, they just appear. Oh, I hit shot the floor. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. You'll see in a second. So we need to be in a specific number. Actually, I'm going to... So if we look right over here, I'm going to circle it. This number, this needs to be 156. So if we go in this chasm specifically, let's keep jump minus 156. If you keep looking at the number, it's slowly going down. If we go around one, uh, let's say 130... And we look here on the uh, east side. You'll see this like nook. You can go here and you can ha actually stand here. So this is a good little ledge to help you create whatever you need to create. As you're falling, again, you can also use this hover stone. Actually, let me use this. As you're falling, and you can create a platform to help you, assist you also if you need it. Anyway, so now we're going to get this auto build. We're going to pull out our little bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm falling. Okay, also ignore health. See, I'm falling already. And it's raining. We're good, we're good, we're fine. Fine. The rain's not gonna stop us. See? This is why you could use a hover stone. Anyway, back to the auto build. 
So you're going to build it. And just in case, you're going to go recall. Just to make sure it doesn't fall. Then we're going to get the fuse. And then we can control it. Let's turn it to where the, it's a V now. And the platform is flat. Um, I want it closer to me. Oops. Closer to me. So I'll put it like over here. Now we need the platform to be at 156. So right now, if I look at that circle again, I'm at 149. So let's lower it just a little. I need to find a good wall. 149, if we go here, maybe I'm at 156, who knows? I have 155. It's so interesting how specific this needs to be. So if I do the glitch, again, having a multi-shot bow will help. Let's do the Zonite. I guess 155 kind of works. If you want to go lower, you can either go on a platform. You can go just down here. Now I'm at 156 and it's more likely going to work. There it is. So now it's stuck in the air. Now the thing is, while it's stuck in the air, you do... I was doing some testing. One, these numbers are so specific, it's very interesting. So if it will not drop if you get close to it. You need to gain a little height. So you can go up this wall. This is also why I made the wall a little bigger. Now that it went higher, they're all going to fall. Yay, I did it. We're going to go back on the platform. Well, the platform is not necessary. But again, the platform allows you to go a little bit away from it. Let's try if 155 works again. Oh, so 155 is fine. If you go higher, then you need to go to like, I guess, 153. But well, that's it. We're going to shoot three. We're going to climb up here. And they're dropping. And as a reminder, the reason why I have the hover stones to help you. Let's say I want to adjust this. I'm going to shoot this hover stone like this. Okay. Oh, because the other one was active. Okay, there. And I'm going to move it closer. And then I can... Because we're even right now, this thing isn't straight. So let's move it over. Oops. Ah, that's fine. Now it's even more straight. And then we can continue with the glitch. Again, a Lionel bow with five shot is best. You can shoot it faster. You can use a level three, uh, three shot bow. A couple things, if you shoot them all in the same spot, they can hit each other and break like it's doing now. So you just have to keep doing it. If you get, if you, some of them break, that's fine. Cause you're going to get extra ones, but keep in mind that, that it does use one as you shoot it. And we're going to go up here. Yay, it's raining apples. All right, now, like I said, if you somehow fall or you can't find that little nook, I marked it on my map, but it's on the east side of the hole of the chasm. I think that's it. If you're falling, just in case you didn't know, you can, you're falling, you can shoot a hover stone. Straight down, as straight as possible. Land on it. And then you could use the shield. That's not a shield. To go back up. And then you can go back to this little nook over here. Is that it? That's not it. Here. Okay, I'm back. So after a few testing, a couple things I realized. So <laughs> if you you if you go if you go by one negative one fifty five. The uh, when you shoot the Lionel bow, it'll make it go like the the arrows will be closer together. That'll allow the fused materials to hit each other, and that's why they keep breaking. So going down to one fifty six. So if they go here, what is this one fifty six? Oh, see there you go. It's working. Again, let me go just one higher. Now I'm at one fifty five. If I shoot him. They become closer together, and now they're all breaking. There's nothing on that arrow. So again, being a little lower, one it seems to be 156 or 157 seems to be the best place. Yeah, it, that allows the arrows to split apart farther from one another. That way they can all get stuck. And then you can go grab them. Climb up. To gain height, and all the balls are dropping. 
Again, you don't need this platform. I'm just talking now. You can make this go down just a little more. Oops. Now I'm at 157. What happens if you do a, zo a zone apart? Oh, there it is. It's there. What happens when it drops? <laughs> also, if you get gloomed, gloom, gloom, that's kind of okay. Whatever, you're just doing this glitch anyway. Uh, but also, you're kind of not in the depths, so if you hang out here, if you go a little higher, I guess I'm, I'm lying. Well, there you have it. The duplication glitch has been updated to make it more accessible. You don't have to go to that specific location anymore. And that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more Zelda content, and I'll see you next time.